Hi, you are watching B Conversation. 5G will change how people and devices connect with faster data speeds, lower latency, increased network capacity, and better user experiences. As with any new technology, however, 5G deployment brings new security challenges, particularly network security risk. What are the network security challenges and what are some key considerations that mobile network operators should keep in mind when implementing security services for their customers? I'm speaking with Dr. Pablo Moninero, who is the Senior Director of Product Management for Telco Vertical at Fortinet. The topic we are discussing is enabling 5G security to maximize growth for MNOs. Good afternoon, Pablo. Good afternoon to you too. How has the introduction of 5G presented MNOs with opportunities in their addressable market segments? And what are the values they provide? Yeah, so 5G, definitely it's a much better network than uh, 4G. Um, it enables new use cases and makes existing cases easier to implement or to automate. So there are some examples like uh, um, network slicing, exposure, Internet of Things, mission critical networks, the industrial automation, smart cities, or virtual and augmented reality. In, uh, the, other, the other thing that we're seeing is that, that in many parts around the world, we're seeing that the revenues from the residential market are flattening or already flat. And it's no wonder that uh, all the new use cases for 5G, they are uh, targeting mainly enterprises and governments. And this is a way of increasing the revenues that the uh, uh, operators get. Why is security a condition for 5G success? So the answer is simple. As I said before, a lot of the new use cases are for enterprises and the enterprises, they don't want just plain connectivity. What they want is um, a secure pipe. That means that they want to bundle connectivity and security together. And this way, the security is no longer just a cost uh, to the MNO, but also as a new source of revenue. So. The problem that we have also with 5G is that other new technologies are being introduced. Things like cloud, things like uh, containers, edge computing, REST interfaces, open run, etc. So all these new technologies allow the operators to be more flexible and agile. But at the same time, they are adding new components. And that means that they are increasing the attack, of, of the attack surface. Um, the good thing is that we have tools to plug these new attack vectors and uh, that have emerged with 5G and their related technologies. What are some key security use cases that MNOs can consider adopting? And how does this drive enterprise adoption and trust? Yeah. So the first thing that uh, any MNO needs to do is to secure their own network. So prevent uh, their network from being compromised because then your service will either stop or be affected and your reputation will go down the, the drain. Once the network is secure, then we can start talking about adding new security services. The, the most typical ones are things like um, secure networking that includes secure SD1 and SD branch. Another one that uh, we can add is the security at the access and endpoint with uh, zero trust network access, uh, secure access uh, services edge, SASE, or endpoint detection and response. You should not forget also the cloud security, and this includes the protection of APIs and workloads, but also cloud native firewalls. The last thing that you need to add is the managed sec security operations, and this includes the threat detection, uh, threat hunting, and incident response. What are some key considerations that MNOs should keep in mind when implementing security services for their customers? Yeah, so there are multiple ways of having these security services. Um, and the main reason why we have many of them is because the customers, they vary, their situation, they vary. For example, you may have customers with uh, several branch offices. And here we recommend uh, the use of uh, SD1 and SD branch that will secure the traffic flowing in and out of the branch office. 
but also the traffic inside that branch office. Then you have customers that have a lot of teleworkers and remote workers. And for this type of uh, customers, we recommend uh, SASE, that is the Secure Access Services Edge and Clean Pipes. Then you have uh, customers that uh, use extensively the public and the hybrid cloud. And for these customers, we have a, a set of cloud native firewalls and tools that will protect the services and information that is hosted in these cloud services. And then finally, you will have large organizations that will have a, a, or will want to have a manager uh, security operations where they want to uh, have outsourced the detection, the mitigation, and the response to any threats that they may have. How can Fortinet assist MNOs in ensuring a secure 5G ecosystems for their customers? Well, the first thing is that uh, we need to work together in order to secure the MNOs network. That means that uh, we need to prevent uh, the MNOs from being attacked and uh, for uh, uh, that attack from being successful. Because if the uh, your network gets compromised, then you will have to pay penalties from regulators. You will have to pay compensations to the affected customers, and you will have a, a big loss of reputation. The second way how uh, MNOs and Fortinet can work together is to offer uh, security services on the top of uh, the connectivity. And these security services, they need to be compelling to the enterprises and governments that will use uh, the network. So uh, we have talked about the, the different services that we can enable, but uh, the main thing is that uh, with these managed security services, you will increase revenues and you will reduce churn, okay? And we have seen that a lot of uh, very successful use cases uh, with operators both in the US and in Europe. Pablo, thank you very much for joining us today. No problem. Thanks a lot.